question number 78. Any stockholders' equity section, common stock dividends distributable is reported as A. Deduction from total paid in capital and retained earnings. B. Current liability. C. Deduction from retained earnings. D. Addition to capital stock. Question 79. Which of these transactions is an investing cash flow activity? Number 1. Issued 100,000 shares of $5 per part value common stock for $800,000 cash. Number 2. Borrowed $200,000 from Castle Bank, signing a 5-year note bearing 8% 8 interest. 3. Purchased two semi-trailer trucks for $170,000 cash and number four paid employees twelve thousand dollars for salaries and wages number five collected twenty thousand cash for services performed question 80 which is an example of a cash flow from an operating activity a payment of cash to lenders for interest b Receipt of cash from the sale of capital stock. C. Payment of cash dividends to the company's stockholders. D. None of the above. Which is an example of cash flow from investing activity? A. Question 81. Letter A. Receipt of cash from insurance or bonds payable. B. Payment of cash to free purchase. Outstanding capital stock. C. Receipt of cash from the sale of equipment. D. Payment of cash to suppliers for inventory. Question 82. Presentation of comprehensive income must be reported under IFRS in A. The statement of stockholders' equity. B. The income statement ending with net income. C. The notes to the financial statements. D. A restatement of comprehensive income. Question 83. Each of the following is a subsidiary ledger in Z. A. Accounts receivable ledger. B. Accounts payable ledger. C. Customers ledger. D. General ledger. Question 84. Cash sales of Merchandise are recorded in D. A. Cash Payment Journal. B. Cash Receipts Journal. C. General Journal. D. Sales Journal. Question 85. Which of the following is not one of the credit columns in the Cash Receipts Journal? A. Other Accounts. B. Accounts Payable. C. Accounts Receivable. D. Sales. Question 86. All of the following are advantages of using subsidiary ledgers except day A. Show transactions affecting one customer or one creditor in a single account. B. Free general ledger of excessive details. C. Eliminate errors in individual accounts. D. Make possible a division of labor. Question 87. Credit purchases of equipment or suppliers other than merchandise are recorded in D. A. Cash Payments Journal. B. Cash Receipts Journal. C. General Journal. D. Purchases Journal. Question 88. Cash payments of merchandise are recorded in D. A. Cash Payments Journal, B. Cash Receipts Journal, C. General Journal, D. Purchases Journal. Question 89. A contingent liability should be recorded in the accounts when A. It is probable the contingency will happen, but amount cannot be reasonably estimated. 
B. It is reasonably possible the contingency will happen and the amount can be reasonably estimated. C. It is possible the contingency will happen and the amount can be reasonably estimated. D. It is reasonably possible the contingency will happen but the amount cannot be reasonably estimated. Question 90. The leasee must record the lease as an asset if the lease A. Transfers ownership of the property to the lessor B. Contains any purchase option C. Term is 75% or more of the useful life of the lease property D. Payment equal or exceed 90% of the fair market value of the leased property. Question 91. Problem. Assume a bond issue of 10%, 5 year bonds with a face value of $100,000 with interest payable semi annually on January 1 and July 1. So, calculate. It is required to calculate uh, the the accounting of this transaction. Okay. Question ninety two. Problem. Assume that the investors required rate of return is twelve percent and not ten percent. The future amounts are again. $100,000 and $5,000 respectively, but now a discount rate of 6%, 12% divided by 2 must be used. Calculate the present value of the principal and interest payments. Question 93. Problem. Assume that investors required rate of return is 8%. The future amounts are again $100,000 and $5,000. But now, a discount rate of 4%, that is 8% divided by 2, must be used. Required is to calculate the present value of the principal and the interest payments. Question 94. Banks and financial institutions regularly invest in debt and stock securities to A. House exists cash until needed. B. Generate earnings. C. Met strategic goals. D. Avoid takeover by disgruntled investors. Question 95. An event related to an investment in Debt securities that does not require a journal entry is A. Acquisition of debt uh, investment B. Receipt of interest from revenue from debt investment C. A change in the name of firm issuing the debt securities D. Sale of the debt investment Question number 96 When bonds are sold the gain or loss on sale is difference between A. Sales price and cost of the bonds B. Net proceeds and the cost of the bonds C. Sales price and the market value of the bonds D. Net proceeds and the market value of the bonds Question 97 Under the equity method, the investor records dividends received by crediting A. Dividend revenue B. Investment income C. Revenue from investment D. Stock investments Question 98 An unrealized loss on available for sale securities is A. Reported under other expenses and losses in the income statement B. Closed out at the end of the accounting period, C. Reported as a separate component of stockholders' equity. D. Deducted from the cost of the investment. 
question 99. The ratio that explains how efficiently companies use their assets to generate the revenue. A. Revenue. Asset ratio. B. Receivables turnover ratio. C. Asset turnover ratio. D. Income ratio. Question 100. What financial ratio helps management evaluate profits available for dividends? A. Debt ratio. B. Debt service coverage ratio. C. Retention ratio. D. Cash ratio. That's all everyone. Good luck. Make your uh, review. Uh, they're important to your future. Be serious about it. Again, this is your professor, Dr. E.P. saying engineering is for nation building.